all over the, all over the world today, Christians will re be repeating this simple uh, affirmation of faith. And so with God's people the world over, this amounts to millions and millions of people. I wish for you on this great day to repeat with me the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Remember, our early church fathers paid the penalty in blood for you and I to have what has just been read. The man who says that we have no creed but the Bible is an ignorant man. The Bible, out of the Bible comes what we believe. And so when I say that, don't judge anybody. But God has taught me differently. And when I read of the early church fathers and the tremendous price they, pray, they paid, if we, if we didn't have this today, they would be battling this today all over. All kind of heresies would be breaking out. Yes. But the men actually died, actually played for their life's blood so this could be settled, so the church fathers would come. And so it's an easy statement to say that. But it is in a good statement and it amounts to ignorance more than anything else. I want you to value the great creeds of the faith. Men have died for them. Blood has been paid and you and I are in the debt of, the, of our church fathers today for what we've just read. I want to thank God for it. And if you don't understand that, you get an appointment with one of the pastors. If they can't explain it to it, you get one with me and you and I'll go to have a history lesson and a half before this thing's over with. I mean it with all my heart. I thank God. Praise his holy name. By the fourth century, this was what was being said by Christ. People everywhere. You may be seated as the choir sings something about what his name should be called.